hammer. Catch the hammer. This is the one minute review of Thor. The Dark World. Currently in theaters. So, <laughs> when I reviewed the original Thor, uh, I said it was the best possible movie from that source material. And I would say that once again, probably the best possible movie from that source material. Here's the thing about Thor. I don't like Thor. Like as a comic book character, as a, as a Marvel Comics concept, I don't care about Thor. And here's why. Um, I, I can't relate to Thor. Like he's just beautiful and perfect and doesn't seem to have any problems. And he has a hammer that comes back when he throws it. And he's a god. Like how am I supposed to relate to that? None of that describes anyone I know. Okay. So I don't like Thor. But I do like Loki. And the reason I like Loki is because he's relatable, because he has real emotions, because he seems to be present to what's really going on. So this movie, Thor the Dark World, was sparkling, sparkling with stellar awesomeness when Loki was on screen. Just every moment he was on screen was great. The rest of the movie was a lot of fun. Uh, I had a ton of fun in the theater. It's got all kinds of problems. The the difficulty they're trying to work out really doesn't make any sense and it kind of doesn't matter. Um, once again, uh, Natalie Portman, how, how is this woman still, still getting jobs? Anyway, Thor the Dark World, you're not going to be disappointed if you're looking for fun and if you're looking for some awesome Loki-ness. Uh, if you're looking for a great film, uh, see something else. <laughs>